Good day. Welcome to our Tax First broadcast for October. I'm Chantelle Hesselman, PwC Namibia Country Senior Partner, but also our indirect tax partner. The topic I brought along is the payment of import VAT on services as when applicable. Um, why this tax? Because we often get a lot of questions where um, taxpayers would not have enough knowledge on um, the concept of paying VAT on a service being imported or provided by a foreign service provider, as well as um, when to know is it applicable or how much to pay. So, in a nutshell, the import VAT on services section in the VAT Act 10 of 2000 has been in the Act since the inception of VAT. It's not a recent amendment. The rate as enacted has also not changed over the years, so it is a flat rate of 15% based on the value of the service being imported. So we often find confusion with how import VAT on goods is calculated, where you would recall there's a 10% upliftment, which is definitely not the case when you import a service and it's that flat rate of 15%. Then in terms of compliance, it is payable on a separate return, so it should definitely not be entered and declared on your import VAT on goods return, nor on your normal VAT return. And the date of submission varies because it is open to being as long as you declare and pay within 30 days of the date when the service was rendered, which I acknowledge is often difficult to determine, but usually with third party transactions, we would go with the value, of, sorry, for the invoice date, the date on the invoice as an indication of when the service was rendered and when the 30 days would expire. So that's an important difference if you look at when normal VAT and import VAT returns are, are to be filed. So moving along to the big question, but how do I know it's applicable on a specific transaction or to my entity? So two important indicators very briefly is the first one would be to look at, are you incurring the service to render a local taxable revenue with it um, or an exempt revenue or supply with it? because it's only an imported service to the extent that you're going to use that to generate exempt revenue. So it's mostly applicable to entities that either are not even VAT registered at all or have the VAT apportionment impact because you have a mixed supply of revenue in your business. So entities that only generate 15% revenue, for example, need not consider import VAT and services and will not be deemed liable if that's their position. The second indicator would be looking at the nature of the service. And the Act reads that if that service would have been provided locally by a local service provider, would, if it would have been exempted from VAT, then it's also exempted from import VAT services. So if the nature is, for example, um, an educational service as defined, medical services as defined, or asset management services as defined, uh, procuring that locally or abroad, um, would all be exempted um, and need not be considered then for, for import VAT and services. So that is um, a brief rundown of the main considerations and uh, my indirect tax team and I, we are um, looking forward to continue the conversation with you. Thank you.